I don't think he's a mortal. That would have hurt. Reversal. You dance on my chest, and I dance on yours. That's how this works. I don't even know what's happening anymore. Like, that's just cheating, isn't it? The fact that it's like like piping hot from the from the sparring as well does not help matters. Oof. <laughs> you killed my best friend. Could you be the one to finally finish me? You no killed Sonny's father. Prepare to die. Sonny's father? <laughs> and dead. Yes, yes, I think it was after the 18th stab wound that I fell over. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> Is that fully dead? No. There is a mortal. Yeah, because yeah. that would have been a pointless character. <laughs> He's saying... Yes. You're... You've got milk. Oh, you went for the PT version. Yeah. Let me just make a call. What year is this? Are you sure about this? It is meant to be set in the year 2014. Okay. So flip phones aren't unreasonable. No, not at all. I think it's that is my problem with this scene. Flip phones. I think it's unreasonable the fact that it stayed in this pocket of the entire exchange. <laughs> yeah. The fly out got caught in the crossfire. Yeah. A white sticky bodily fluid. Let me put that in my mouth. You've got hepatitis. Uh -oh. Oh. Hang in there. Sam. He's got to be immortal. No, he's not immortal at all. It was my design that caused his body to be like that. Huh? So you're telling you me he's not immortal. The nano machines nope. in his body caused But he is bisexual. That that we have established that. Great. Was Nano Machine all alone? Nano Machine says. In a sense, I'm responsible for Bamp. He's one of my yeah, sins. Yeah, in a very literal sense. Does your body have the same Nano Machines? I brought a monster into this world, and I too. Am... Right. Hold him down. So why did you give Bamp a Nano Machine? Um. Well, because he because he wants to live forever. And Naomi is just a dream maker. She just wants to make it all happen. No, an infusion of artificial blood. Snake, Ryan. The only place we can get that is on Beyond. But only on Beyond. Because Tokugawa hasn't got the space yet. <laughs> I do love that um, he threw in a lot of the Please Nots references into this game. And then completely forgot about them and all future bombing. Yep. 
It's like it's like in this game, he just goes, "Okay, fine, I reference all of the works, but that's it." This is the last <laughs> game I'm making. I am leaving. You no, do not offer me more money. Okay, fine. I might just make one portable game for the PSP that'll be really fun and super lore heavy, and then two more games. <laughs> and then that's it. That's all. I'm telling you, right? All I want to do is be friends with film directors and be a sexual introvert. That's all I want to do. I mean, it's Japanese. I already got half of that down. That's very true. Yeah. I give the controller over to Aaron. Let's see he, how he does in the next one. Yeah, yeah, no, I passed it over from already. So all he has to do is this next bit, and then uh, I take control then for the next bit after that. Okay, I'll put on the crocodile hat. Do you have to? I mean, like that—that that was so. That was so last year, man. Like, it's also really hard to get in this game. <laughs> yeah, like very ungrateful of you, to be honest. Not more eggs. The eggs are a metaphor, Aaron. Pay attention. For clones, it's for the oh. it's for the snakes. The double yolk. Mm hmm. You see, this chap next chapter is all about the third snake. Three. Yes, I know. What a plot twist! So <laughs> technically, four snakes survived. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Like, it, like at this stage, it's like five of them. Like it's a bit, it's a bit taking the piss, like. Fun fact, this is actually a very good recipe for sunny side up eggs. Yeah, that's what I do. Do you also see the periodic table while you're doing it? I don't know the periodic table. What am I, a chemist? Clearly he does the good of pie. Oh, fair enough. Maybe, yeah, I mean, I mean as long as you're singing the song during it, that's the main thing. Could you please cover your shame? <laughs> No, no, this is all part of Kojima's, like, character design, where, like, you know, if, you, if you're showing some tasteful side boob, it means they're a maternal character. Yes, indeed. Because that's how the boss was designed. And that's how Eva was designed. That's how Eva was designed, exactly. Oh, Basically, spoiler. any... Is this your mother? Yeah, like, any female maternal character has to show some tasteful side boob. Or, or armpit hair. Well, that was all good. To be fair, that, that was that that, that, that was different. But, yeah, do I think um I think you should make a backup of that one. That tune you were humming, it's from the periodic table, isn't it? <laughs> oh, well done. It's almost as if you're a scientist or something. It's almost required that you know that. Protactinium, uranium, neptunium, plutonium, americium, americium. Come on, you know all known lanthanides, actinides. Oh, she was doing it deliberately to get a response from Sonny. That's it. Curium. <laughs> uh, if you can't helium or curium, you bury him. Uh. <laughs> okay, that was good. <laughs> Those eggs are burning. She set a timer. <laughs> Aaron, cinematic time, remember? Wow, a blue rose. There. Almost as if they don't exist in nature. See, Sonny? Us girls have to look our best. Her name was Olga. Hmm? I don't think we were talking about your mother. I think like, the whole scene was talking about mothers, you know? It's a, it's a cinematic language. Oh, it's going to burn. See? Oh, hold on. Okay, Aaron, well done. It's all right. Yeah, let's fucking criticize your cousin Moya first. <laughs> done. <laughs> no, turn off the heat, just start a fire. We didn't start the eggs. We did a great job. We? <laughs> wow, that duck is judging you. I think that's the Japanese for cringe. Uh, 
side up portion coming, Eric. Remember that? It's going to be yeah. important later. <clears throat> what, is this, what is the significance of the tree yolks, Aaron? Um, nano machine? God damn these right. Ooh, he's got it. He's got it. Either nano machine, philanthropy, or nuclear proliferation. All of them. The you know, by the way, that like Otacon's laptop has like a Naomi cam. Like, without them, there's he's no such a nonce. Like, wait, what have been doing all this time? Hey, honestly, like, have a Naomi cam would be a nonce. He's been performing tasks. Aaron, don't you dare look up her skirt. The first. Okay, Aaron, you know what you're doing here, right? You need to, you need to get the thing from the hangar and then get the, get the battery. Upstairs. Get out. Okay, you don't need the ammo, Aaron. Just keep going. There, take your stun baton and mess with the chicken. Tuh. Neither your genetic pattern nor liquid genetic pattern is a 100% match. Yeah, it is. A, it, I, I do love the logic here where, like, like Kojima accepted that he's going to have a regular of exposition between levels. So he just gives you this little bit of a mini game here as opposed to just not having the exposition. <laughs> hey, we got the camera. Yay, well done, Aaron. Yay, I did it. Yeah, well done, you. When we get to Shadow Moses, we can go ghost something. Yay. Come on, I'm sorry, Snake. Oh, oh my, oh my apologies. I'm sorry. Who is that? Snake. Who's like dead downstairs? Ryden. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Got about him. The guy who needs okay. the blood transfusion. <laughs> yeah. Let, let's accept. Let, let's pay. Let's set the th a couple of things right. Ryden is the cyborg. Snake is the old man. Okay. I know they look very similar, but they are totally different people. The snake was up here having a smoke. Cats smoke on planes. We have the extractor fan for the cooking. Different. Yes. So they're getting around the whole fox die thing by saying that as you age, your genes may be um, exposed to different conditions that cause mutations. We're not copies study. of our father, after all. Nah. Which is why they created Solidus. Also, I think mitochondrial DNA is dead. Stuff. <laughs> Listen carefully. Some of the stuff the midichlorians. This is the most important part. You gotta remember the blood of the east runs the in your veins. It the does. Employs a highly aggressive Do, it, does that matter? Ideas. No. Kojima just wanted his hero to be a little bit Japanese. All data and commands circulating within the network. It's under the Enders. Any data that yeah. To conform to that code it's uh, that Dingo, if I'm not mistaken. And expunged. Like viruses killed by white blood cells. Again, the two is only the end of games. He picked the worst one to, to reference. It's set up so that host commands only execute properly if the key matches perfectly. However, that's the tech user meant to work. Yeah. If the IDS suspects someone is trying to break into the system, well, it'll, um, it shadow tags, aren't they? Code on a blacklist. That code is then blocked and can never again be used to access the system. So, ah, fuck, they're typed in the wrong the code and then my genes don't work. You need to find yep. <laughs> Pretty. <laughs> it's like you cancel out an entire person. So liquid access the system. Which is a brave strategy, I'll be honest. America. It was only a test. I can't believe this. Snake and Big Boss don't have the same genetic code? I can't believe Otacon's getting this lesson in genetics this late into his life. Snake and Liquid aren't the same either. Which is why Fox Die only... I, I love how Kojima just went down to the local library, studied up a bit more on genetics between them, and went, oh shit. <laughs> it's not even that, it's like... The, the fact that like, the first game is all based around who's the, who's the recessive brother. And then suddenly Otacon going, wait, what, they're not identical? But my whole life is a lie. Hold on. I thought but every human was soldier with their brothers and sisters. You need his biometric data at the same time. Don't Especially you? Meryl. That's right. And Big Boss is already dead. Spoilers. Uh -huh. Yeah. 
Thank this you. is where it gets really complicated because, like, Big, technically Big Boss has been dead three times. There's three different variants of the fuckers knocking about. I think fair, two of them aren't the real Big Boss. I know, but still. Or rather, his cells. That's impossible. It's impossible. It's impossible. I set Not them really. out on fire. Big Boss survives as a biomort. A brain like, again, this is this is before your time, Aaron, on the playthrough. But like the last time that Snake and Big Boss had a like had uh, had a. Uh, an altercation. Snake defeated him with a lighter and a can of uh, deodorant. Yeah, I remember it well. And and yeah, we we set him on fire. A lot. Did you? You killed your dad. Yep. We didn't know he was our dad until the first Metal Gear Solid. Yeah. In the interim between the two, they figured out. Even with his gold. As I feared. I am your father. Yeah, fair enough. Let me set down fire. Our remaining option is to secure the original. I'm sorry, son. Sorry, son. If Liquid obtains the body, he'll be. Now, of course, this is also um further contradicted that in the previous game, the first Metal Gear, Snake destroys, like, or rather kills Big Boss, and then runs away before and basically the place got nuked. Yeah, Big Boss definitely died. Mm -hmm. But then, of was course, it? we were asking, how did that big boss survive to li live in the sequel? Because it was a low yield nuke. It was. <laughs> contrary to popular belief, it was not a low yield nuclear device. No, his nuke was actually stored in the vagina. Yes. No, he's weeping again. That's X. I'm doing <laughs> it. I'm doing it. This is it. Yeah, bookmark that side for later, Sonny. <laughs> I'll just, um, just check that later. The Patriots. I can't believe this sort of thing. Still I really want to live in a world where Otacon has made himself the Microsoft paperclip. To be fair, he gets more pussy than anyone else. He does. He is the like. The he's as we've just seen. He's the most sexually active character in the series. The military industrial complex yeah. is losing its sense of morale. Yeah, <laughs> everyone, everyone I go dies. Doing their dirty work for them. Aaron, do you believe, believe that love can bloom even on a battlefield? No. We make Jack better. Lust okay. can, love cannot. Yeah, I believe him. What will you do with the handkerchief? It smells like dogs. Sunny. Throw it in the bin? No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're crazy. You're a crazy man. You're a crazy man. It's a used handkerchief. That smells like dogs. Yeah, cinematic typing. Hacker man. <laughs> Gonna need two keyboards for this one. Yeah. I'm going to type in the same button twice. <laughs> At the same time. What? There's nothing we can do here. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Could this be the world's first double hack? Look at this. <laughs> this isn't source code. blood needs dialysis. We don't have the proper equipment. Dialysis? Getting his wounds healed is important too. But at this rate, he's not going to last that long. <laughs> Why did we Dialysis. take out his kidney? Is that what <laughs> kidneys do? That's right. Raiden's blood is an older type of artificial blood that was used by the military. Called white blood. After it's been in use for a while, the blood needs to be dialyzed. Can we not just get new white blood? No. No, apparently, it's, it is. Remember, it's police not rules. Once you're on that that type of white blood, you're stuck with it. Which means when event when eventually you stop manufacturing, you die. Maybe pay attention to the guy who's trying to transmit through his head. What do you mean? I have a friend. Call him Doctor. Not related to any Nazi. 
Hey, just because he's called Doctor doesn't mean he's, uh, you know, suspicious in any way. Doctor Magnar, he saved my life. Error. <laughs> Blood not found. Doctor Don't worry, folks. I'm sure we'll get him the help that he needs. A world renowned Badner, so backward. Strictly <laughs> underground. Though. Random. <laughs> it's settled. We must head for Europe. The sooner we get there, the better. Oh, yeah. Naomi, oh, no. so, um, and have him get us landing yeah. clearance. <laughs> God damn it, Naomi! You're gonna give him a wreck that lasts four hours. Came to call a doctor, and you're the only doctor we have on site. Oh, a snake! And you're trying to fuck him. Where are you going? I'm trying. I'm gonna be speeding <laughs> up poison soon enough, anyway. What's one more smoke I've heard? No. Uh, this is a no smoking flight. I told you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Loves your daddies. He's like, oh. I knew I'd regret getting her that side. <laughs> Worst birthday present ever. Hey, Raiden, you awake? No. <laughs> what do you think Naomi's thinking about? To fox die, probably. Oh yeah, I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> My inevitable death that she actually caused twice. Why would you pull up a big picture of your dead sister just to look at and brood over? Because Hal is traumatized. Because he's got an erection that's going to last four hours and he needs to take care of it the only way he knows how. Mm. 